Hi, welcome to AWS tutorial series. In this video, I am going to cover VPC, subnets, and CIDR blocks. VPC is an acronym for Virtual Private Cloud. Using VPC, we can set up virtual network over cloud. So this is nothing but a data center where we manage our servers on premise. And when it comes to cloud, right, we do the same thing with help of VPC. And the subnets are a smaller networks inside VPC. We traditionally break VPC into smaller subnets and we put uh, resources inside those smaller subnets. So why do we break uh, a bigger network into smaller network? Because one is security reasons. So there might be different departments in the company like HR department, finance department or IT department. And we wanna secure them uh, according to who can access those servers in such scenarios subnets are handy and subnets are easy to maintain such kind of access to different teams there so inside subnet we launch our aws resources like ec2 instances which are virtual machines in case of cloud okay let's get started with a demo let's go and see how to uh, create a vpc and how to create subnets we are into aws management console uh, we need to search for vpc here So from this VPC dashboard, we can create VPCs and we can create subnets there. Before creating VPC, we need to decide how many servers, how many virtual machines, otherwise how many IP addresses we need in this network. So for this example, I want a network with uh, 200 plus IP addresses. That's a requirement to set up this network. So let's go and create VPCs. So let's say create VPC here. So name it. So I'm calling it as Java Home Cloud. So this is where CIDR block comes into picture. Using CIDR block, we can define the pattern, IP address pattern. Along with that, we also can decide how many IP addresses we need inside this VPC. So for example, For example, so this is my CIDR block notation. This is my IP address pattern. See, in this notation, right, we have four octets. This is octet one, octet two, three, and four. So each octet is of eight bits, meaning, right? So eight plus, eight plus, eight plus eight, which is 32 bits. Okay, let's get into the calculation of this. Right. This is the CIDR block we have chosen. So let's understand why I have chosen this CIDR block. See, when it comes to CIDR notation, this is the CIDR notation we have chosen it for VPC. Right. So in this CIDR notation, right, we have two things. One is network portion. Other one is the host portion. So when I say 24, which is equivalent to three octets, say eight plus eight plus eight. So this is allocated to the network portion and this remaining zero, right? That is allocated to the host portion, meaning. For network portion, we get 24. A host portion we gave which is 32 minus 24 which is 8 yeah so this is gone for your network we can't use this bits but for host right for setting up IPs we have 8 bits here so meaning 2 to the power of 8 which is going to give you 256 servers we can get 256 IP addresses inside VPC so according to our requirement, we need 200 plus servers, correct? That is why I have chosen this one as 24. And coming to these two or these three octets, right? You can pretty much keep anything or even I can keep it as 12. But this is fixed for your VPC there. Okay, let me go with 12 itself. 
okay so now the next point is what if we have chosen it as 25 so network portion is 25 and the host portion becomes 32 minus 25 which is 7 in that case right we're going to get only half of this service which is 128 but this is what uh, we need to understand if we go with 25 we can't allocate 250 servers or 200 servers in our case correct so that is why i gave more points to host portion which is 8 and i made this one as 24 got the point right right now this is the side run notation for our vpc but we can't directly put ec2 instances inside vpc we have to break vpc into smaller networks we call them as subnets now according to the requirement we can break this uh, vpc into two subnets three subnets four subnets whatever the requirement is so in this video i am going to show you how to break this vpc into two subnets the requirement is into two subnets that's a requirement so now again subnet is a network we need to calculate the cider block for the subnet so we are going to have subnet 1 and we are going to have subnet 2 according to vpc cider we need 256 actually right that's what our calculation was and this has to be 24 this has to be 24 then we get 256 machines inside this vpc we need to calculate cider block notation for subnet 1 and subnet 2 so if we break 256 ip addresses into two right we should get approximately 128 in each correct now let's go and calculate this one So 24, 32 minus 24, which is 8, gives you 256, correct? If I make it as 25, see this, which is 32 minus 25, which is equal to 7. So your host portion becomes 7. So when you calculate 2 to the power of 7, which is going to be 128. let's calculate this again for subnet all right so we are making it as 25 and this is 25 and 32 minus 25 which is 7 that's going to give you 128 ip addresses okay so now in this case right this is allocated for your network and we need to allocate ip addresses only using this bits so if I say 128, it is going to be from 0 to 127. So in subnet 1, the IP range is going to be from 0 till 127. Okay. So that is about subnet 1 here. In the same way, right, we need to calculate side block for subnet 2. Like this. So again, if you want to get 128, it should be 25. So I'm keeping it as 25. So 25, which is 32 minus 25, which is 7, which gives you 128. And coming to this part, see from 0 to 127, it is occupied by subnet 1. From 128 onwards, right, it is occupied by subnet 2. So that is how we decide, that is how we calculate cider blocks according to our calculation let's go and create two subnets inside our vpc create subnet let's call this one as subnet one so i'm keeping it inside java home cloud vpc and pick up the cider block notation from this so coming to availability zone sorry there is a slight change in the vpc cider block 
So instead of 12, I gave it as 0. Okay. So in that case, right, this also must be 0. This also must be 0. Okay. So now let's copy the side block of subnet 1. All right. So created. So this is your subnet 1, which gives you 128 IP addresses in this. Okay. In the same way, let's go and create subnet 2. Subnet 2. Uh, make sure we are creating this in the right VPC and get, get the calculation from our screen. So copy this and keep it here. Right, see, subnet 1 has IP addresses from 0 to 127. So that's the reason we are starting from 128 to 256 here. See, if I put 127 here, it's going to cause an issue. Why? Because this 127 is already allocated in your previous subnet. I hope you understood the calculations here. It has to be 128 and created. So can we create more subnets in this case? No, because the VPC capacity itself is 256. So it's already allocated to subnet 1 and subnet 2. We don't have any IP addresses left. That is the reason we can't create more subnets in this case. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos.